Okay, here's my. It's it's just bits of old um, plates and that that I had hanging about and some acrylic hanging about. So I basically just bolted it together. And you can see I've got one for the the water at the back and one for the water at the front. This is just going to be a drain. But you can see the way I've done these with the pipe going in. And there's the gaskets that I was just cutting out. Okay, you can actually see the uh, ah, there. You can see the, the pipe running right in. And then the hole gets bigger here. Eleven mil at the top. This is so I can put the the mix in to seal it. The mix is only up here. This bottom part is already sealed because it's really tight. It, I can twist it and I can move it, but it's an 8mm pipe going into an 8mm hole. So you're, you're actually forcing it in there. And then you've got the, you see this one better, you've got the larger hole to take your mix. And that's where the seal happens. <laughs> But you've already got a, a pretty good seal down here with, with the pipe going right in. See it? Pipe running right down and in, right to the, the back edge of this, the main face of the, the unit. So it's right in there. There's my black dots again for my emissivity. So that's this. Done. I've just got to drill my holes here and cut my edges off so I've got neutrals and my lives. But it's not a bad unit altogether. Pretty cool. And you know when you're tightening doing a gasket like these, you go opposite, opposite, like a cylinder head, opposite, opposite, middle, opposites. You always tight, tighten the opposites. This is so you get it to go down nice and flat, because if you were to go around it in a clockwise or anti-clockwise manner, you would end up sitting with one side up and the other side down and it would leak and spill and spew. But there you go. Opposites and you tighten in a gasket across with the bolts. But I'll let you see this once it's filled up. But you can see the principally what I'm doing here. And like I've said to you, I mean these I've, I've never had any bother with them at all. I've got my voltmeter on now. This is running at 11 volts, and when it heats up, it's running at about 9 amps. And if I calculate the the MMW, anyway, this one, this will be interesting. I've never built one of these before and I had all this extra stuff lying about and I thought, well, I'll just build one and see how it runs. Again, if I was building a, a commercial sort of one, I wouldn't probably use these blocks because Prone, are prone to trouble. Acrylic's an awfully, awfully material to work with actually, it's a very difficult material to work with. It's going to be okay. Masses of holes in it though. It's, but it's going to be okay. It's, and the many of them lined up because they were all out of other, other things I was doing. They're basically the same but they're not quite the same. These ones though, the bottom ones, they all line up. I don't know if you can see them. They, they're big holes for the, the water to pass through but they all line up. <laughs> These are all different sort of sizes, but I haven't seen that. It'll run okay. Let's see what happens here. This is a small flat unit. I've just basically got the, the pipe, one pipe to the other, and I've stuck some salt in it, eh? I think probably too much because it's drawing like 15 amps. It takes 39 seconds to get. 250 milliliters. <coughs> Let's 
to run 11 volts and no well it's, it's probably about 13 amps but it pumps out just fine Right, I hope it's recording, it's a really sunny day. I've had this up to try and see what kind of amps I'm going to be using on it, but I had it connected to these, the charger here, connected up, and it just fried the wires, so straight away, it started burning them, see? So I'm not going to be able to tell the amps that I'm using or anything, but that's, that's this little unit I built yesterday. This is one, of, and this is just another measure that I've, I've got. So, I'm going to use the, the stopwatch here. Let's see it working. I'm just going to try and set this up here so we can. I think any of you will be able to see it. Thank right. It's going to be a difficult one to set up, but. Okay, it's a bit haphazard, but here we go. Sticking this right when it plates. Stop. 15.8 seconds. I don't care in the amps I'm using. Well, it's just slightly under the line, but. 15.8 seconds, that's pretty damn good. Reset. Just there it is. Right, I'm going to restart that oh, that shot. And this bottle drained. Fourteen point seven seconds. The unit's only like two negatives and three positives, and in between each one, I've got a neutral. I don't know if you can actually see that. This is the one that built yesterday. Like it's 